say, don't judge the wanker by the suit. This dude is rock and roll if they come. And loves to pound the pussy. This is true. I love to pound the pussy. We salute you. Shall we? we. Horns up, metalheads! Time for another edition of Rock and Metal Revival. How you doing, brother? I'm doing good. How are you? It's uh, awesome, man. Spring-like weather uh, kind of makes you put a little extra, you know, kick in your step. I'm mm, digging it. Juice in your goose. There you go. Seventy uh, yesterday, almost to seventy today. today. Nice. Yeah. Uh-huh. I actually opened a window. Did you? Yeah. Would you to blow smoke out it or what? Yeah. yeah. Exactly. I had to air out the, the yeah. smoking room. Exactly. So the hopefully ho- the hookah hut. The hookah hut. Who <laughs> hopefully on today's show. Uh, We're going to get a hold of Anthony Esposito, our friend uh, who was formerly in uh, the Lynch Mob and in the Ace Freely Band. He's got a new band he's with that uh, I can't wait to see uh, this version of it. uh, uh, He's in Red Dragon Cartel with uh, Jake E. Lee. Red Dragon Cartel. Cartel. Really? Are you sure? No, I'm positive. You're you're, you're Josh. No, no, I'm not. That's cool. You are. I know. All right. <laughs> I just wanted to check. I knew one of us was. I wasn't well, sure. and, and you don't look a day over 49 either, brother. Oh, dude, I feel 52. Day, all right. Yeah. Well, you look 52, though. Yeah, I all feel right. 50, man. Okay, well. I'm 50. I got to do the kick. Man. Yeah, all right. That's what everything. Remember that from Saturday yeah. Night Live? That was funny. All right, kicking today's show off. Here's a, here's a track that Anthony played on on the last Days Freely album. No, yeah. really? Yeah. Did he? Yeah. He was on the last one. Yep. Not the. Not. Invader. No, not Space Invader. Anomaly. Okay, yeah, cool. Yeah, this is Outer Space kicking off this edition of Rock and Metal Revival. Hey, people. It's the V, Veronica Freeman of Benedictum. And I'm here to remind you that Red and Jerry are not entertaining, nor are they in any way informative. So thanks for listening to Rock and Metal Revival. There's brand new music from Hailstorms called I Am the Fire. Yeah, that's... I like it. That was hot, man. Yeah. That was hot. I, you you know gotta what? admit, it's hot. If you're fire, yeah. fire's hot. Dude, do you want to see her or not? I uh, really do. I I would. I'd like to see her. That'd yeah. be kind of cool. Coronado's a cool place. Yeah, and I got an okay from the uh, from the wife to go. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, nice. So I'm well, thinking we'll maybe see. see if we can maybe get some tickets to that. that. Yeah. So uh, coming cool. up today, a uh, friend of the Rock and Metal Revival for a long time, our, our buddy Anthony Esposito and. Uh, Hopefully we can get a hold of him. He's got like a recording studio now. I guess he was working with Tantric there for a little bit, uh, being their producer. And oh, nice! And, and now he's got the gig with Red Dragon Cartel. Like, he's Red, probably sitting there, freaking got his phone off. He's cranking out the Red Dragon. Yeah, figuring out, probably trying to figure out the, the trick. Yeah, learning you know, the tunes. Because Greg Chasen, uh, the uh, former bass player for Badlands, and was with with Jakey on this last run, uh, he he left for family reasons. So yeah, he had to keep. He had to keep making money, man. Yeah, got so. Got a family to take care of. Yeah, so. and then you've got uh, a new lead singer coming to the band. So we'll talk about. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we'll huh. talk about uh, all that with Anthony when we get him on the phone here. And uh, lots, we got news cool. of the weird, uh, news you can't use, lots of lots of stuff it's, going on. Yeah, there's, there's some silly people out there. There are some weirdos out there. So uh, what do you say? And uh, by the way, here at Rock Metal Re- Revival, we want to say uh, best wishes out to Bruce Dickinson. Oh. All right. That might right. be Bruce calling right there. Here's Phantom of the Opera on Rock and Metal Revival. There's brand new music from Michael Schenker's Temple of Rock. That's called uh, Bulletproof from the new CD, Spirit on the Mission. And, uh, dude, I'm digging that CD. A little heavier, a little down tune in yeah. the stuff there. A little bit. With that seven-string guitar yeah. gives it a little bit more balls to it. A little more balls to it. But Michael's still fucking, man. Yeah, he's tr- dude, the guy can play. Looking Holy forward crap. to seeing him uh, on the 23rd. Yeah, for sure. All right, time uh, now for... Uh, News of the weird and drunk and stoned stupid. and stupid. There we go. Well, so, maybe I should join them. All right. Well, I'm going to fire right. up peace I'll start, pipe. I'll start this you first start one. start it up. Uh, drunk man drives stolen forklift three miles to retrieve crashed truck. Uh, seems uh, police in Fairbanks, Alaska say 21-year-old man drove a stolen forklift more than three miles while intoxicated to retrieve a truck he had crashed. Uh, <laughs> the police say that uh, just before 6 a.m. Monday... Uh, Alexander Gushko of Delta Junction, Alaska, drove off a road in his pickup and it's then Alaska. crashed. Alaska, everybody's driving forklifts. Yeah, and crashed into a pipe stacked in a company yard. <laughs> uh, the pickup was straddling the pipe, so uh, he went and picked up a forklift. 
Nice. Get it down. At least he's thinking, you know. He's not just sitting there yeah, crying about it. Exactly. He goes and does something about it. Go steal a fork. How do you know there was a forklift yeah. three miles away? He probably, he probably hot-wired it like MacGyver. Oh, well, maybe. How the hell is he going to know unless he passed it on the way yeah. while he was drunk? And well, yeah, like you just said, there's like yeah, there's the only, forklifts the everywhere. The only things in Alaska yeah. are forklifts and bears. Yeah. Yeah, and Eskimos. Yeah. yeah. Ice, ice, ice. ice cube houses yeah. there you and go. shit. Igloos. Yeah. Okay, well, Gushko was charged with felony driving under the influence of alcohol. He's well, lucky good. he didn't get it for grand theft. He's lucky he didn't fucking Kill run himself. that thing yeah. through somebody, too, with those forks. Women, a uh, woman offered deputy oral sex in exchange for letting her go. I mean, that ain't a bad idea. No, I mean, well, Wait, I mean, what's oral sex go for now? How much does that run, I, run you on the street? I don't know. I, I don't know. Well, How much does it run you up to silk? <laughs> How the fuck would I know? Come on, Come, man. get Terry on the phone. <laughs> yeah, Terry right. would know. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, she wanted to get off, so she allegedly offered uh, the deputy on duty to get off, oh, and no. he wasn't having it. The exchange between Beatrice Carrion Moore. And the West Palm Beach Sheriff's Department <laughs> was caught on Florida, Florida? <laughs> yeah. caught on patrol car onboard video. Uh, while Beatrice is in the back seat of the patrol car, she continued to offer me oral sex in exchange for letting her go, the deputy wrote in his report. I want the audio of that, man. Yeah, deputy said when they confronted uh, Karen Moore, she got angry and resisted arrest, saying they had no right to kick her out of the bar. <laughs> Oh, nice, man. man. I guess she had a previous arrest in February for aggravated battery with a deadly weapon and resisting arrest. That's her mouth because yeah. she gives terrible blowjobs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she bites. <laughs> she's got a got, rotten dental yeah, plan. She's got braces. All too. right. Yeah. Uh, Dick masturbates in Tickle, or Tickle Creek. <laughs> A convicted sex offender with an unfortunate name was arrested for allegedly masturbating, and cops said he could be linked to several flashing incidents. Uh, I guess Michael Gordon Dick, 53, Gordon Dick, yeah, of Gresham, Oregon, was arrested on March 25th for uh, after police received reports of a naked man masturbating in Tickle Creek. <laughs> Oh, nice. <laughs> Authorities said they received at least 12 reports of a serial flasher. Sure, who, he wasn't just trying to piss and you thought yeah. it was Tinkle Creek. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> who witnesses says uh, drove by women walking on the road and stopped his vehicle, jumped out of his truck with no clothes on. The incidents uh, have stretched all the way back to November. Everybody drives naked at, over in, in Oregon. Oregon. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's what that's what they do. Well, here's the, the best thing. part: the Gresham man is a convicted sex offender. Oh, oh, that's not cool. Uh, no, no. Dick broke into an elderly woman's home while she was completely naked. While he was completely naked and tried to, uh, he didn't want to leave her. any fingerprints. No. <laughs> All right. Michael time. Chico posed as cop to cut into fast food line. Hey, man, when you're hungry, you're hungry. Yeah, a West Texas man has been charged with impersonating an officer by using sirens and flashing light to skip ahead of the drive through fast food line. Uh, Odessa police say Michael Chico was arrested <laughs> after... Oh, line of bed, oh hey, have you ever been to Taco Bell at bar oh, time? I'm telling oh, you. Okay. After an off-duty <laughs> officer spotted the truck with law enforcement strappings, uh, says Chico's vehicle looked like an unmarked police vehicle. Uh, officer saw the truck while he cut in line Saturday night uh, through the drive. Uh, the driver who was wearing a uniform was a volunteer fighter fire. Nice, nice. Uh, uh, Lasur said that he was confronted. He confronted Chico, and he wasn't uh, an officer. And he also used lights and sirens to get through traffic lights. Nice. Hey, well, at least they caught him. That. Yeah, that's yeah. Not that's not cool, man. You're, there's people who've been are probably hungrier than you. I know. There's times when I've had to them. shit. I wish I had a flashing red light. Oh, on my that'd truck. be kind of cool. Yeah, it'd be convenient. Bill yeah. Poisner called nine one one about Bar Bill twelve times. <laughs> this happened in Idaho. Police say Northern Idaho man called nine one one a dozen times, reporting being overcharged at a bar. Now faces a thousand dollar fine and a year in jail. Hey, I can't blame him. How much do they overcharge him? I don't know. Police uh, falls. Saying? Captain Pat Knight says an officer gave Philip Poisner a post falls a ride home after he was kicked out of the club tequila just after one a.m. Monday. Knight tells Spokane, uh, Washington Television uh, that Poisner uh, had made twelve emergency calls. The first wanting officers to come Jesus. back up. Uh, to discuss his bar tab. <laughs> TV station reports that a bartender produced Poisoner's receipt showing he had charged $30 for 10 beers that he had ordered. 
<laughs> so, says he's going to get a misdemeanor for it's like three dollar beer yeah, for right? calling nine one one. Yeah, he should have been. Did he happy. look at the sign? There was yeah. probably a sign: three dollar beer. Yeah, three dollar beer night. Wow, he didn't. All right, one more I got here. Didn't have a calculator handy, I guess. Where'd you get this? No. German social network seeks prostitute tester. I thought that you might be looking for a new job. There you, you go. Know. I like my job, dude. Yeah, you like I'm selling a lot of pussy magnets. Mag- those magnets, I yeah. heard they. They're expensive. If you good buy a new on. van, I'm going to put two in it. They're a good add-on, yeah. I heard. Social media uh, company catering to German adult industry is creating a new position, a sexual position. Uh, com, which means buy me in German. I probably pronounced that wrong. Kaufmitch. Yeah. That's close enough. All right. The Germans do All right. Anyways, uh, has, just an- <laughs> has just announced it's hiring a full-time prostitute tester. <laughs> <laughs> Willingness to lie down on the job is re- a requirement if you get our drift. That's a man or woman perfect. chosen will review brothels in Germany, emphasizing service, cleanliness, compliance with safe sex practices. Uh, doing this requires having sex with sex workers. According, where the hell is it? Uh, this is in Germany. We got to find this place. We got to apply. We got to. Th- how do you apply? Do you do they run you? Th- See if check out your stamina and stuff. They must run you through well, that. We're fucked there then. They run you through like a a test day. Wow, unbelievably, there's no place to. I gotta find. We're gonna you find, find out, out where. Yeah, that where is. you can apply. For Michael that, might know. He's, Michael, he's, yeah, he's Germany. Michael and over there in Poland time. and Germany. That'd be a good job for you, brother. Hell yeah, it put you in one place. Yeah, one place. Send yeah. you all these goddamn CDs. CDs. Yeah, Jesus okay. Christ, yeah. man, come on. There you go. We're going to have to get a plan yeah. to send you all this shit. Look it up online. Michael, yeah, get a job. German, German, <laughs> German <laughs> prostitute yeah. tester. Yeah, just type that in Google. Find that job, and, dude. And Apply. if you get that gig, we want your business card. Hell yeah. Yeah. All right, well, that's going to wind up news for the weird today. Uh, <laughs> and that was weird. All right, yeah. so getting back to the music, let's uh, play a little something from this new White Snake uh, Purple album. Uh, the songs that... Uh, David oh, Coverdale yeah. did when he was in Deep Purple. This one's called Burn. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is this with the Holstra and all that? Yeah, Good let's, player, let's turn this up. Brand new White Snake. First time play right here, exclusively. Wow. On yeah. Rock and Metal Revival. But you've heard this song before. Here's your latest hard rock and metal news on Rock and Metal Revival. All right, Metalheads, it's time for talking real metal news you can't use. Damn. So gather around the water cooler, get your computer speakers close, and yeah, get, get the if, kids. If they ain't, smoke them if you got them. Smoke them if you got them. Here yep. we go. Marty Friedman says on Dave Mustaine, we've been talking quite a bit in the last few months. Well, yeah. good for what? you. What are you talking know. about? Uh, the weather? He, yeah, because he ain't joining the band. No, because he hired somebody else. Yeah. All right. That might be in the news. You yeah. never know. Never know. Uh, Journey drummer Dean Castronova. Yeah, I wanted to make I got sure it right we this had time. got the name right. To donate $10,000 to replace instruments lost in Oregon High School fire. That's really That's cool. That's really cool of him, man. This is uh, some fucked up news. Steven Tyler confirms he's working on a country album. Woohoo! Yeah, he's yeah, buying thanks, that shit. Thanks for confirming that yeah. you're just a greedy motherfucker. Do yeah. anything to make a buck. Yeah, put your Maybe cowboy hat on. Maybe if I can't on. make, I can't make enough money in Aerosmith, so I might as well go country. I'm only gonna be seeing able to sing "Dream On" so yeah. many times. Disturbs David Draymond slams new Daily Show host Trevor Noah over Twitter jokes about Jews. Dude, they're jokes. Get over yeah, it. People get kind of sensitive. I know, about but shit. get over it. Kiss, Come on. Kiss to receive ASCAP Founders Award. Yeah, G must have bought that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Michael Shanker on Brother Rudolph. He's more like a magician than a musician. Ooh, Ooh he can make. He makes things happen. I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Or does he make know. band members he, disappear? No, right. I don't think. Uh. Paul Stanley. Charity is never an option. It's always an obligation. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Dude, that, that's. Not that's the a, opposite of what Gene said. That's a dick statement. Yeah. Uh, Ace Freely, forthcoming covers album to include versions of the Rolling Stones, the Who, and other classics. Yay! Yay. Wait for that. Yeah. We should ask Anthony about that. Yeah. yeah like. Def Leppard announces hysteria on the high seas cruise. We got to start a cruise, a rock I know. Valley Valley I know. We got to have a cruise, man. Maybe I'm, on Lake Koshkin. We could get, get a pontoon boat. And a, like the barbecue grill and stuff. Yeah, and a bucket and some of shit. beer and bucket some shit. shit yeah. In, yeah. All we're, right. we're set then. Ozzy and Sharon selling two unfinished Hollywood Hills West homes. And why do they have two of them there? And One, what the hell? One's filled with dog shit. Oh, damn. Um, one. Dave Mustaine. <laughs> Megadeth is almost done writing new album, tracking to begin next week. That's good news. Nice. 
JJ French, Twisted Sister, will fulfill our touring obligations to help uh, or with help of a professional drummer. Yeah. I mean, that could have well, got me. I'd I have know. been unprofessional. They could have got an amateur like hey, me. Yeah, hey, exactly. once you pay somebody, they're professional. Yeah. Exactly. So, yeah. Oh, dude, did you see this? Vince Neil sings National Anthem at Las Vegas. Dude, I got, first I got game. the audio. I got the audio of it, too, if yeah? you want to hear it. Yeah, Yeah. well, let's hear it. Shitting me? That's yeah. the best he could sing our national anthem. Hey, he sounds like David Lee Roth trying to sing Van Halen songs, man. It's like, dude, oh, he oh, sucks. there's supposed to be a melody there. Oh, how you bad know, if Van Halen there's was no smart. Me. You know, they had no problem uh, getting rid of Michael Anthony. Uh-huh. They should get Michael Starr to sing in front of Van Halen and actually give the fans what they like—a band that sounds like Van. Halen. Yeah, because because what the hell, man? He starts. You know, your his upper register's gone. Gone. So he starts all the fucking lines where he usually sings lower. Yeah. He starts them up high and has nowhere to go, dude. Yeah. And God, what a fucking horrible sounding. Oh fucking God, man it was terrible. Is. God, Eddie's awesome, but yeah. everything else just sounds like shit. Yeah, the rhythm section sounded like hell on that it, Kilmer performance. Yeah, they need fucking. No, they yeah. need to get. They got to get their back. shit together. Twisted Sisters, J.J. French says uh, what John Bonham was to Led Zeppelin, A.J. Peril was to us. I guess Obviously that's uh, not, not. Yeah. because you're going out and finding another drummer to fin- f- fulfill your obligations because fucking Zeppelin had a whole tour program yep, they already canceled booked it. and shit, and they canceled the whole thing. Tesla's Jeff Keith recovering from hip replacement surgery. You know, that, oh. you know that's how you tell when we're getting old, yeah. when the rock stars of our youth are having their hips replaced. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's true. And I don't even know how to pronounce this dude's name. Kiko Luriches of Angra. The band uh, Angra. Yeah, yeah, officially joins Megadeth. He's also he's on that Randy Rhodes Remembered album, too. I okay. forgot what track, though. I'll have right. to look it up. Well, cool. He's a great guitar player. So Good deal. Yeah. Well, that's the news you can't use. And uh, since we played the singer from Motley Crue who couldn't sing, what do you say <laughs> we play the one that could? Uh, from his band The Scream... Here's uh, John Karabi and the boys nice, in fun. The Scream. This is Outlaw and Rock and Metal Revival. You're not talking bad about Vince, are you? Fuck no, Vince. Vince is like, he's like a superstar. This portion of Rock and Metal Revival is brought to you by... Right, but I think my son is just going through a phase. I have no idea where he would have gotten a hold of German pornography. But you and I are mature adults. We've both seen our share of pornographic materials. Oh, you never have. Uh, of course you haven't. How stupid of me. Neither have I. I was just speaking in generalities. Right, I'll stop by the school a little later, Sister Margaret. Bye. From the CD Wicked Sensation, there's the title track on Rock and Metal Revival from the Lynch Mob. Dude, that CD is 25 years old. And it doesn't seem that. I still listen to it all the time. Dude, when I was half as old as I am now. Yeah. Wow. When you were young. It was like, cut my life in half, dude. Yeah. And then this album comes yep. out. Wow. 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 You just blew my mind. Dude. Half of your life you've been listening wow. to Wicked Sensation. Wow. All right. Well, yeah. We're... Now it's more than half my life. <laughs> awesome. I'm looking uh, forward. We're going to get our buddy Anthony Esposito. Anthony's been a friend of mine for... 
boy, about 10 years now. Yeah, and, I've uh, got to meet him through you. Yeah, and Anthony's cool a great guy, and I've been hang- we got to hang out with him when he was playing with Ace, and looking forward yeah. to seeing him again now that he's in Red Dragon Cartel, and uh, I couldn't think of a better cool. gig for him. Yeah, really? Yeah. Another good, great guitar player. Man. Yeah, what is it with him and guitar players? Yeah, Jeez. he got lucky. All Maybe right. he's going to join Michael Schenker eventually. He's playing with good ones, okay? <laughs> oh, dude! <laughs> Man. No cowbell on now? No, like, I, uh, I'm going to throw the fucking cowbell at you, dude. <laughs> All right, brother. Let's play some off Rad Dragon Cartel. This is called uh, Shout It Out on Rock and Metal Revival. From the Red Dragon Cartel CD, there is Shout It Out on Rock and Metal Revival. And, Jerry, you and I got a chance to see Jakey e. Lee, uh, boy, it was over a year ago? Oh, happy. Yeah, yeah it was, it was first, about a year yeah, ago. Yeah, first trip through the U.S., and uh, he's coming back. Going to be in Milwaukee on June 5th, and uh, I'm really excited to I see him this time. I was impressed, man. He's got his chops back, too, yeah. man. He's not no slouch anymore. Exactly. I thought he, I, he just when he once he got warmed up, man, he was just tearing it up. He was tearing That's it up. That's cool. And it's good to have our friend uh, Anthony Esposito now in Red Dragon Cartel. We've got him on the phone with us. Welcome to the show, Anthony. Hey, how's it going? Not too bad. Long yeah. time no talk, brother. What's uh, what's going on besides this big news that you joined Red Dragon Cartel? Um, well, that actually happened like probably like a week, no less than a week ago. Um, I haven't been doing much. I've been I've been doing a whole lot of nothing. i um, been working in the studio a lot. Uh, at my studio, I've been producing bands and stuff. And then uh, I left my old band, Pisser. I'm no longer affiliated with them. And uh, I got a call from Jake a few days ago. So now I'm learning uh, Ozzy and Badlands and Red Dragon Cartel songs. So are you going to sing on any of those tunes on, on this tour? Thank God, no. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe maybe backgrounds really low yeah. well in the background. <laughs> nice. So you got the tunes all figured out now? No. No. It's good. <laughs> I have I have like I think uh ten more days before we start rehearsals in Miami. We're only gonna rehearse like once or twice and then uh we have the first show. So I gotta get working and I'm in the middle of mixing uh a new band I'm working working with right now, the band's called End of Silence. And I'm in the middle of mixing five songs for them and learning 15 songs for Jake. So it's kind of like, uh, yeah. Either um, I got my ears in the studio, in the studio monitors trying to mix, or I got my ears in the headphones trying to listen to what, what Greg and uh, Bob Daisley played. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. No yeah. easy task. Bob, Bob, I love the way Bob plays. Oh, Bob's one of my favorite bass players of all time. He's, he's so good. Well, Anthony, uh, now how did how did uh, now you've got a new lead singer also in Red Dragon Cartel? Can you tell us a little bit about that? I, I honestly have no idea. Um, <laughs> never met the guy. Never heard him play. Um, I'm sure he's in the same boat as I am right now, <clears throat> where he's learning yeah. learning uh, lyrics and 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 how he's trying to probably figure out the. Twenty-five thousand dollar question on how in the world do you follow Ray Gillen? <laughs> yeah, yeah, really. Uh, it, you, that's one of the things that when uh, Jerry and I went and saw uh, Jake and the first his first actual tour through the states, uh, I kept well, saying, "How the hell are they going to do Badlands tunes?" Yeah, you know. Well, I mean, I mean, uh, musically, I can see it, but how the hell do you sing like Ray Gillen? Um. I don't know. I just think he was one of a kind, you know? Yeah. So you're not taking that part, huh? <laughs> you sure that's not... Oh, that's that's a rumor we heard yeah. that, he, that you are going to be I singing, wish, too. I wish I, I wish I could sing High Wire. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, well, we're, we won't put it on Blabbermouth no. that you're going to be doing the Ray Gillen part. So. Yeah, yeah well. please don't. <laughs> I might be singing it in my shower, but that's about it. <laughs> <laughs> So now, Anthony, how how did your uh, relationship uh, with Jake? How long have you known him? Has that been a uh, a long time friendship that you met years ago? Well, I was really uh, I was initially friends with Ray. Um, we both came from New York, and I remembered always bumping him, bumping into him at like Limelight or Cat Club, and he'd always have the biggest smile and the biggest hug for me, and like. He'd be like, come across to him, yo, Ant-Man, it was a big, big hello, and I, I love Ray, Ray had the greatest smile, he's just the, the warmest soul, and um, then one time, I had joined Lynch Mob, and I was living in Phoenix, 
And Ray called me up and he's like, hey, we're playing Phoenix today. Uh, I'm at doing sound check right now. Why don't you come down? So I went down to sound check. And that's when Ray introduced me to Jake and, and Greg and all the, all the guys. And I think Eric was in the band. Eric Singer was the drummer at the time. And then um, Ray and I went and got tattoos. And uh, the tattoo is became one of my closest friends. I, I had never met him. But it was JJ who later played bass with Fight, and he was also oh, yeah. Rob's tattoo artist. So Ray brought me, Ray wanted to get a, a tattoo, so, so we went to the tattoo parlor after soundcheck, and I met JJ. And JJ, to this day, he and I are still great friends, and we talk all the time. And, uh, and then I did a Grand Prix race. They used to have these things for MTV called Rock and Jock. And uh, we used to do the Grand Prix racing. George, Nick, and I were part of this race team for MTV. And we would race with uh, the Motley guys and the Poison guys and, you know, all those guys. And um, Jake and Greg uh, did one of the races that we were involved in. <clears throat> and Jake and I hit it off then. We hung out the whole time. Like, like I got along great with him. So that was probably 1990, 91. You know, so I know him a pretty long time. Okay, That's well, cool. I, I guess my next question is, um, who's the next great guitarist that Anthony uh, Esposito is going to work with? <laughs> uh, you play guitar. I'm, I'm ready huh? for you. No, Jerry does. <laughs> I yeah, do. Yeah. Huh? There you go. I'm in. Here All go. right, Stop cool. Let's, let's get to work. Yeah, we'll start planning our tour. <laughs> I don't know. I'm on a run. I'm, huh? I mean, I don't, I don't understand. Like, I, I'm, believe me, I know how fortunate I am and how lucky I am and how blessed I am to be playing with guys like George and Ace and now God, Jake. I mean, yeah. it just keeps getting better and better and better and better every time I, I, get, I get to play with a new guitar player. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm very happy happy with my career so far. and I, I've been attracting these, these great guitar players to play with. I'm very fortunate. Um, this is what was kind of my son's doing. Um, my son, Tyler... Helped work on help work on the new uh, Red Dragon Cartel record while he was out in Vegas, and he actually helped Jake track all the guitars. Like he, he did a lot of that, and was around for a lot of that. So uh, him and Jake became really great friends. And Jake texted Tyler, my son, who was sitting next to me at the time, and uh, Tyler's like, "I just got a text from Jake. He's like, uh, he wants to know if you're interested in playing with him." I'm like. Yes, of course. <laughs> and then the next day, the next day, Jake uh, gave me a text, to, you know, to me. He's like, "Do you want to do this?" I'm like, "Yeah, totally. I'd love to." And I was out. He was going to send me the songs and the dates, and that was it. Very cool. Very cool. Now, I guess my question. I want to go back a few years, Anthony. About twenty five, when you, uh, when you released just a couple. When years. you released Wicked Sensation. Did you know yeah. that to this day that most people that I know that bought that album still play it and still play it pretty regularly? Yeah. Is that not the coolest uh, thing? I mean, <laughs> that's one of the broadest achievements of my life was to be part of that record. And I mean, I was 21 years old when I played bass on that record, and I had no idea what. I was just like, um, kind of like, when a kid walks into the turns, walks through the turnstiles at Disneyland for the first time, and you just hit with that awe. Like I remember joining Lynch Mob in like twenty. I was twenty-one years old. I had a clue, cleaner than you know, center field in Yankee Stadium on opening day, and uh, here I, I get to be involved with Max Norman and Neil Kernan and George and Nick and Oni and, and to create this. Um, a record that I'm, I'm so proud of, very proud of it. It's the 25th anniversary of it, and uh, and to celebrate, we're doing nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, <laughs> yeah. How, how do we get a reunion That's tour? That's perfect. Well, I, I put it together. I already asked. I asked Nick. I asked Tony. I asked Max, and I was like, "Wouldn't it be a great idea if we got the original lineup with Max Norman producing again?" And we went in and we did a second record with only singing and and sort of like took us 25 years to do the follow-up of the original lineup of Wicked. And then we go go tour and we do everywhere once and we just play once with the original lineup 
and we do everything off Wicked and some songs off the new CD that will be the anniversary CD, and and that's it. And then call it a day. And George was the only one who said no. Everybody else was like, "Sure, let's do it. I'll sign up." Well, wow. George, George is in like twenty different bands. How could he do? He can't know. do it. He thinks it's more important to go make a record with Michael Sweet or the singer from Fishbone, or and then like then give the fans what they want, which is the original lineup and a new record with the original. Lineup. I mean, we had Max Norman. Max Norman, like he, I, I, I speak to him too, and he was like so excited to do it, and he was pissed that we didn't ask him to do the second album. Way back, you know, he's like, I don't understand. Wicked came out really great. He's a guy. Who, to do it with somebody else. He's a guy who produced Ozzy's first albums. Max, right? yeah, Max did a lot of records. Max did uh, the first. He did the first three Ozzy albums. He did all the ones that ran. Yeah. yeah. I think he did Bark at the Moon. Yeah. And then um, he also did a lot of Megadeth records. He also did uh, the record that George and I heard that made us want him to do us was Dirty Rock. He did, uh, he did Cool from the Wire, and it's not the way you rock, it's the way you roll, like all the, that record he did, which is huh. uh, awesome sounding, great record that he looks. Well, very but, cool. I mean, that is, yeah. yeah, that is, I mean, I I just don't understand. I mean, I think the original Lynch Mob out on tour would be quite the draw. I really do. Yeah. Well, you got to ask George why we're not doing You know what? The, the, next time, the next time he's on this show, Anthony, I'm going to ask him that. Yeah. He's the only one that said no. Okay. So, I mean, everybody else wanted to do it. And now they're, they're going out. They're touring this year, but it's only him and Oni, and I don't even know who the other two guys are. And, and they just released a record, ironically, called Sun Red Sun, which is a bad man song. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's true. That's true. Well, when does this tour start off with you and Red Dragon Cartel? When do you hit the road? The first date is April 16th in Miami. And then we're out. We're doing a couple shows in Canada. We're doing a bunch of shows in the States. And then we're supposed to go to Japan. And then we're supposed to do a really cool uh, dual headline bill. But I don't know if it's confirmed yet. But like for, for like five or six weeks in Europe in, uh, in, the, in the winter, we're supposed to go out with, with a really cool band. But I, I, I don't know if it's, it's confirmed. So okay. I really can't say it. But it should be great. I mean, it should be a lot of fun. I thought it was cool the other day when I found out about it, and I said, hey, I see you're playing Milwaukee, Anthony. Where are you playing? You're like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't be. I'm too busy trying to figure out the exit part. I'm, I'm trying to get tickets. And, well, I'm all I know is i got to get on a plane April 13th in Florida, and then we're going to rehearse two days and then the first gig, and then I'm on a bus. So I don't, I don't know what's going on. Hmm. All right. Well, we're going to we're gonna get out and see you. We we promise you that I'm going to get a bunch of people and come into Milwaukee and see you play. Hopefully, I know the songs by then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, because we aren't above hack. We aren't above heckling you, buddy. I mean, you know. Yeah, I'll be playing strange ways still. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So uh, while you're listening to these new songs from Red Dragon, can you uh, have you noticed that there's like a blatant uh, lack of cowbell? <laughs> yeah, there's no cowbell. You should talk to Jake about that. See about this fucking. <laughs> And yeah. some cowbell to some stuff. Especially when you get to Wisconsin, <laughs> Anthony. You know how yeah. we love cheese and cows. and you got to have cowbell. Uh-huh. you got to have it. <laughs> Especially for the Wisconsin show. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. just uh, add cowbell to everything in Wisconsin. Yeah. You go over like... Like, like huge. You'd be like, almost uh, like putting it all like to poker. Butter, yeah. 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 So, uh, yeah, I'm not listening past the bass parts right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right, buddy, we're going to let you get back to getting ready to head out on the road uh, for Red Dragon, but we are really happy that uh, you're going to get back out on the road and people are going to get to see you again, man. That's really oh, yeah. cool. Yeah, me too. I mean, I miss it. I mean, I love to play live. I, I mean, I love, I love the whole thing about it, like the whole live, being on the bus with the guys and the bullshit team. And then going and, and doing sound checks and meeting people and and, and, and and making friends that that last a lifetime. I mean, I, I've met so many people. I, like Greg, you were I met you guys on tour. Yeah, exactly. And it's like, yeah. and it's like you know, you just make the, meet the greatest people, and like you know, without touring, the odds of my path crossing paths with ninety nine percent of the people that I meet on tour is very slim. It gives you a great opportunity to play. And that, I mean, with, with, with Jake, I mean, I get to play great songs. Yeah. And, you know, and meet new people. And it's, it's just, I mean, I'm, I'm lucky. I'm a lucky guy. It's a great job to have. <laughs> I'm well, glad I wasn't home for long, you know. 
<laughs> Good deal. Yeah. Well, we're going to play uh, another track off Red Dragon Cartel. This is called Wasted. And, Anthony, you know uh, you are always welcome to come on Rock and Metal Revival. Wasted's cool. That's Paul Diana singing from uh, Iron Maiden. From the CD Pleasure to Burn, there's Burning Rain and Fireball on Rock and Metal Revival. And I like myself a couple shots of Fireball once in a while, buddy. Yeah, I heard that stuff's pretty good. Cinnamon whiskey? Yeah, yeah. it is really I'd good. I never tried it because yeah. I'd probably like it too much. Yeah. Right? So that's why I don't drink a lot because I, I don't want to get hooked on it. Yeah. You, hey, uh, I don't want to be. I got enough problems. Kind of folks. Yeah, trying exactly. To get you where you need to go when you're all liquored up. Yeah, yeah. You mean I smoked up? <laughs> Let's go back to Mexico. Oh, no. I don't like. <laughs> yeah. I don't need to be all liquored up. Don't put me in a place where there's free booze and you can just, they just keep bringing yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's not. We had fun though. Yeah, that was All a right. good time. But holy crap! Yeah, no. <laughs> I remember waking up. And that was next all, day, and it yeah. wasn't so fun. Not, not yeah. so much. Not so much. No, no. no. Well, we want to thank As- uh, Anthony Esposito for coming on the show this week. Uh, it was good to talk to Anthony again. I'm glad he's in Red Dragon Cartel. Yeah, very cool. Uh, if they come to your city, go see him. Yeah, and, and I'm telling you, uh, Jake's Jake, definitely got his chops back. Yeah, man. Jake can play. So uh, go out and see him. And next week, hopefully, we're going to have Keith St. John back on the show from uh, Burning Rain. Uh, he's doing a charity event uh, oh, April yeah. coming up April 23rd that he wants to talk to us about. And oh, cool. So we're going to get him back on the show. Is find... it for raising funds for the RMR uh, cruise? cruise? Yeah, yeah, I think RMR, we're going to talk to him about that. R- Rock River Cruise. See if he'll play it. Rock River. We'll get all these so bands rock to play. bands. Yeah, the yeah. Rock Cruise. Yeah. yeah. Rocking on the Rock. Yeah. All right. Rock. Wow. We smoked is, too much. Yeah. We got to go. Yeah. All right. Until next week, uh, as we always say, <laughs> don't drink and drive. Smoke and fly. Go Badgers. Kentucky sucks. Nice. Yeah. This brings to an end another edition of Rock and Metal Revival. If you enjoyed it, tell a friend. If you didn't, tell two. Until next time, this is Rock and Metal Revival. Dude, this is fucking weak. How could things be any worse? To catch the whole show of Rock and Metal Revival, all you have to do is check it out on these affiliates. Mega Rock Radios on Saturdays from 11 a.m. Eastern Time on Rock 101 KLOL on Saturdays 11 p.m. Eastern on Z-Rock 106.9 KKZR Sundays at 8 p.m. Eastern Time and on Uncontrolled Noise Tuesdays at 1 a.m., Thursdays at 8 p.m. Eastern Time and on Saturday nights at 7 p.m. Eastern on UncontrolledNoise.com. And make sure that you leave them a message and tell them that you found Rock and Metal Revival on their stations. Enjoy this edition of Rock and Metal Revival.